Hi guys, Dean here, and today I am doing the tag I was born to do, because this is the Miss Marple book tag. Dane reads. Uh, assuming I can find the info for it in my Dropbox. Yeah, there it is. So, uh, this was created by James Holder. I was tagged by Bookish. There are 12 questions, because there are 12 Miss Marple books. One question for each book. Let's go through. So, question one, The Murder at the Vicarage. A book about or set in a small town or village. Okay, um, I'm thinking the one that came to mind for me straight away actually was Frank Herber, uh, the Santa Roga, or the, yeah, the Santa Roga Barrier, because I kept thinking it was called the Saratoga Barber. Um, and this is basically about a small town this guy is sent in to investigate, like, it's a very insular small town, they kind of harness their own petroleum, they make their own beers and cheeses and all of this stuff. And uh, it turns out some weird stuff's going on. He's not the first person who's been sent in to investigate, and the people who went in before him died weirdly in ac accidents. Question two, The Body in the Library. A book with a pivotal scene set in a library. Well, how about The Body in the Library? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, um, pretty much any Unseen University Discworld book. Um, I can't think of like a specific one. But they all, a lot of them have scenes set in the library. Uh, I would say, no, I literally cannot think of a particular one that does feature the library though. So maybe instead we will go for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone because the pottery kids go into the restricted section, don't they? Question number three, The Moving Finger, a book in which the protagonist is trolled, harassed, subject to a rumor campaign or falsely accused. Woo, that's a, that's a tricky one. Um, I guess someone's subject to a rumour campaign. I mean, the only thing that's bringing into mind for this one is um, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, but he's not really trolled, he's just sort of bullied. Question number four, A Murder is an Out. A book in which there is a sympathetic depiction of a Marxist or equivalent. Okay, well I just read, um, what was it called? Uh, this Side of this, this side of Happiness, I think it was called, or The Other Side of Happiness by uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and there was a character in that who uh, was a socialist. That's the best thing I can think of off the top of my head. Question number five, they do it with mirrors. A book in which performance plays a major role. Uh, probably, I'm thinking um, my book, uh, Monsters of Rock, it's currently called. It's still very first drafty, but it's basically about a band of actual monsters and everyone thinks it's just like Slipknot with them all wearing masks but no they are actually monsters um, so that so that's what springs to mind for that question number six a pocket full of rye a book based upon or inspired by a nursery rhyme fairy tale myth or other work of fiction so I'm gonna go for Philip Pullman's his dark materials trilogy because they're based upon paradise lot it's based upon the fall of man from the Garden of Eden so I would reckon that counts as another work of fiction <laughs> Question number seven, 450 from Paddington, a book in which more than two suitors pursue the main protagonist. I don't really read books where anybody pursues the main protagonist. Again, the Harry Potter books because he has Ginny and Cho Chang. Question number eight, The Mirror Crack from Side to Side, a book about a changing world. Well, that's most books I would say. Uh, I guess again I'll go for mine, formerly the rise and fall of a social network and it kind of, it's about a social networking site that you sign up to and you post updates to it that then go live after you die and um, I kind of specifically wrote that because I was just interested in the way that social networking sites have changed the world we live in and also like the way in which we leave digital legacies behind. Question number nine, a Caribbean mystery, a book about or set in the Caribbean. I recently read Cup of Gold by John Steinbeck and that was about Henry Morgan and uh, he was pirating in the Caribbean for at least a little bit of that. Question number 10, at Bertram's Hotel, a book about artifice. Well, so an artificer is someone who makes something, right? Why is that to do with at Bertram's Hotel? Shouldn't it, shouldn't it be a story of the hotel? Right, artifice. Something contrived or made up to achieve an end, especially by deceiving, a stratagem or ruse. I mean, all books are contrived or made up to achieve a means to an end. Well, all fiction books are. Uh, I guess I would go for Farmageddon by uh, Philip Limbury. This is non-fiction about factory farming and it basically covers the artifice that the meat industry uses to uh, 
trick people into keep buying meat. I'm currently also reading How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger, and there's stuff in that like that's insane. Um, the, especially like with chickens and um, salmonella in the US, it's just fine to sell chickens with salmonella because the the I think the FDA was taken to court by the chicken industry. Uh, and the chicken industry won, so basically their their case was it doesn't matter if our products are shipped with salmonella because people know how to cook it. Except obviously the evidence shows that people do not know how to cook it. Also, there was a trial done in which people were like using as many precautions as they could, uh, and like bleaching down their kitchens and all of this stuff, and there was still salmonella everywhere. So you kind of can't really avoid it, you know. Uh, question number eleven: Nemesis, a book featuring a quest. I, I, again, most books t tend to feature a quest. Uh, what have I got lying around on the floor around me that features a quest? I mean, any of these Shakespeare's, King Henry IV, King Henry V and King Henry VI, uh, if you count a quest as going to war, I suppose. Question number 12, Sleeping Murder, a book in which the past haunts the present. Uh, this is any thriller novel, uh, and they're generally done quite poorly. There was one I read recently, though, that the way it was told, I think that, was that an Agatha Christie? That might have been a Mary Westmacott book, um, where it was one of the few where it sets up the scene and then keeps jumping back. No, i tell you what it was, it was when I read The Honorary Consul by Graham Greene, so we know straight away The Honorary Consul is this like English honorary ambassador and he gets kidnapped, uh, they thought he was the American ambassador. And uh, we know this happens like straight away at the beginning and then we start to discover the relationship between this main doctor character and the guy who got kidnapped. Because the doctor's brought in to treat him and then they recognise each other uh, and then we kind of find out they have a storied history. In fact the doctor is probably better off if this guy carks it, you know? So very interesting. So yeah, that was my take on the Miss Marple book tag. I'm going to tag a few of my Marple fans, so I guess I will tag, uh, let's see, Graham Quigley, I think he likes a bit of Agatha Christie, Mara from Books Like Whoa, I'll tag Todd the Librarian as well, why not, because I know he's recently been dabbling in some Christie. Uh, Ma um, Mary Amaronsky, I shall tag her. I'll tag, I feel like I chat to everybody about Agatha Christie. So I'm going to tag two more, I'm going to tag Booktube Goddess, and I'm going to tag Jason's Weird Reads. So there we have it, that's my take on the Miss Marple book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.